Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to Christmas Cards with the Cricut. This is day 17 and it is the final day of the Christmas card series. Aww. This is the card we'll be making, so come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started with card number 17, which is the last card of the series. So now, I got this idea for this card from another YouTuber, and her name is Barb, and her channel is Stampin' Is My Job. So I'll put a link to her video up here, about right there. So now let's go over the card measurements. My card measures eight and a half by five and a half, and I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. The other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and run my um, card through my Cuddlebug folder, and it's the Snowflake folder, and I only ran it through part way. And that's because I want to go ahead and add this layer on the top like so. So the other thing that I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and ink my edges which I meant to do before I started the video but I forgot. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the evergreen bow and we're going to go ahead and ink up our edges on our top layer. Now the top layer measures Four, four inches by three and three quarter inches. And this card stock or this designer paper is from a paper pack. Let me get that. That is the Christmas combo stack that has 180 sheets. And I've used this before throughout the videos or the series. So let's go ahead and finish inking up our edges. And then we can go ahead and add this to the card. Okay, so now that I've got my edges inked, I'm just going to put that to the side for now. And then I want to go ahead and line this up. Now the other thing that I have is I do have ribbon this time, but this is like a felt ribbon, so it's kind of manly because this is going to be a masculine Christmas card. So I'm going to line up where I want to put my ribbon and I want my ribbon to go about right there so I'm just going to mark this with the pencil because we're going to use the cheater method to lay our ribbon down so let me get out my tape and we'll get some tape on the back of here and then we're going to go ahead and add this top layer to the card so I've got it lined up, and I'm going to run a tape across here. And because this is felt ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and put a second piece across there just to make sure it stays down. So I'm just going to put a piece across like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another piece. But I want to make sure that I do have it lined up. And then we'll add our tape across there. And then we'll put another piece across there. So now we're ready to go ahead and add this to the card. So let's just line this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my ATG gun. And we're going to get some tape on the back of here, our top layer. Make sure we get tape on the edges. And then tape across there and then we'll put our tape in the middle like so and I want to make sure I get some on that piece of ribbon on the back there so now I'm going to just adjust this a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and tape this down and add it to our card like so so now, 
I'm just going to bring that up just a little bit because it's just a little bit crooked. And that's going to lay down once I add my um, top embellishment on there. So for now, I just want to make sure I have it adhered down, which it is. So now we're ready to add the pinwheel. So before I go ahead and add the pinwheel, I'm going to show you how to make the pinwheel. So we're going to put our card to the side right now and bring up the pieces for our pinwheel. And I've already started putting the pinwheel together, but basically you're going to take two pieces of cardstock that measure two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And I actually cut these out on my Gypsy using um, the Georgian basic cartridge, but you don't have to. You can cut it out using your paper trimmer or you can use another cartridge that has a square on it. And we can go ahead and go to the Georgian basic cartridge and I'll show you how I set that up to cut it out. So this is the Georgian basic cartridge and it is key number 14 and it looks like this. It's just a square. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've taken off my aspect ratio button and I've gone ahead and put in the two point six two for the height and two point six two for the width so it ends up coming up and I've cut out more I put the two together and cut them out at the same time so now what you want to do is you can either eyeball this or I used um, this grid on the paper here and you're gonna have one facing and line up like so and then you're going to take the, op the, uh, the second one and have that one going in an up and down angle. And then you just want to kind of line them up so this is what you end up getting. And I'll zoom in a little closer so you can see that. So your square, one square is facing this way and then one square is facing this way. And then I've just taken and lined them up and I've added some tape on this side so that they come out like so and we'll go ahead and add some tape so I can show you this is just a sample one it's not the one that I'm actually going to be putting on the card so I put some tape in the middle and then I'm just gonna go ahead and line these up like so and I'm off just a little bit so let me take that up real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and try that again like I said, you can eyeball it, but since this was my first time making this, I decided I better use, I better for once measure something. Because as I've said in previous videos, I do not like to measure. And that's because I'm not good at it. So basically, it comes out looking like so. Okay, so now let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom back. Don't mean to make you dizzy. And we'll talk about what I've already started putting together. So now I have my square and my triangle put together. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take and cut out eight pieces of designer paper. And this designer paper that I've cut out is from... It's like this on one side, it's like this on the other. You don't have to use a double-sided paper. You can use single sheet and just cut out two different patterns. And I got this cardstock from this DCWV Holiday Collection, the Christmas stack. So I just decided to go ahead and use the double-sided, but like I said, you don't have to. And then what you want to do is you want to place tape on one corner of each of your pieces of um, your squares and I also cut these out using the gypsy they are one and a quarter by one and a quarter you can use your paper trimmer or if you have a one and a quarter inch punch you can go ahead and use that as well so like I said you're gonna get tape on each one of the corners and then what you want to do is I've already started it I placed one down in this corner and then I've turned it and I 
put another sheet down of a different pattern but basically what I just did was just flip it over so now we're ready to go to this corner and we're going to add our next pattern and let's see here I gotta make sure I get the right one okay so now I've got my tape in the corner here I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm gonna add that to this corner and then I'm just gonna press down and then I'll rotate it and then pick up my next one and I've already got my tape in the corner and then I'll just go ahead and add that one like so and then you're just gonna keep rotating and adding so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'll come back to show you how to do the last one okay everybody so now I'm back and I'm ready to add my last one square so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up the very first one that you put down and you're just gonna slide that in and then just go ahead and tape it down so now there is our pinwheel so now we're ready to add it to the card but before I go ahead let's see that one came a loose and that's probably because I didn't have enough tape on there so I'm gonna sneak this out real quick and make sure I add some more tape and then I'm gonna sneak it back in and press it down okay so now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and add a brad in the center so to go ahead and add my brad I've already gone ahead and made my own brad using my eye top tool and there's videos out there on how to use the eye top tool you basically will just take a piece of paper and I have the um, I'm not sure what this is called oh this is the template which you can punch out for the 16 millimeter brad so I've just punched out a sheet and then I've used the eye topper tool to make my own brad so now my brad is gonna sit right here in the center so I'm gonna go ahead and punch out my hole and add the brad and then I'll be back okay everybody so now I have my brad in the center and I used my big bite to add the brad because this will not fit through your crocodile so you'll have to if you have one you will have to use the um, crocodile I'm sorry the big bite or you can just take and punch a hole in there and then you can go ahead and add your brad so now let's bring up the supplies again and we'll add our card or bring up the card and we're going to go ahead and add our pinwheel to the card and I'm going to have it sitting right there and I do want this to pop up so I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of here now I forgot to mention the card stock that I used to cut out my two squares this card stock and I had someone ask me about the cardstock once before it is the recollections I'm uh, sorry for the glare uh, precious metal cardstock and I actually bought this cardstock by accident um, when Michaels had their recollection cardstock for for ten dollars I grabbed that particular cardstock and along with some more cardstock went up to the counter paid for my materials and then I left the store when I got home I checked my receipt and realized that that cardstock was not on sale it runs about $7.99 a pack so I was a little bit upset because I did have a 40% coupon and I could have used it so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some foam dots on the back of here and then we'll just go ahead and add this to the card so I think I'm just basically going to put one in each corner like so Let me move this one up a little bit and then I'll take off the tape backing 
and then we'll go ahead and add it to the card. Um, so I want to place it right there. Now the one thing you have to remember also too is to make sure you get enough tape down here in your corners so that it doesn't pop up. So that's the pinwheel portion. So now let's go ahead and finish adding our embellishments. So now the next thing that I've done that I use my Cricut for is I cut out these two little reindeer. And I'm going to place the reindeer about right there. Like so. And then I took these pine cones that I picked up at Michael's. They come in a bunch like this. And I just cut them apart. And I want to put that right here in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. Because it looks like I need to put something. Or maybe I am going to slide some glue up under here. Because I do want this to lay down flat. So I'm just going to take my glue gun real quick. And put a layer of a small dot of glue in the middle here without don't burn your fingers like I just did and then I'm gonna press down so that lays down flat now I'm gonna go ahead and I have this little branch now this branch is some scraps that I had left over from making a previous card um, a long time ago I don't even remember what cartridge I got it from. But if you just do a search in, in your Cricut, you, um, I'm sorry, in your Gypsy, you can just pull up any cartridge that has a branch on it. And I actually cut it in half. You can also um, go to mycutsearch.com and type in branch, and it will let you know all the cartridges that have a branch. So I just kind of want to slide that down in there. And kind of have it leaning like so. And then I'm going to add my pine cones. I kind of want to make it look like the, the pine cones are sitting on the branch. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of glue on the back of the branch. And then I'm going to just slide it back down in there and I want to make sure I get it so that it is down in there like so and then I'm going to add the pine cone so we'll get some glue on here and then I'm going to just hold that for a second so it can stay adhered to the ribbon felt like that. So now let's talk about where I got the reindeer from. Okay, it's two different reindeer and they're from two different cartridges. One reindeer is from the Christmas cartridge and I don't have the handout but it looks like this and let me go ahead and bring it up on the gypsy. Make sure I got the right reindeer. Okay, so it is key number five. And it looks like this. And what I did was I just flipped it. And the way you flip it is once you put it on your mat, you go to the advanced key. And there are two little um, buttons right here. One will flip it left, right, and the other one flips it up, down. So I just did that. And I cut that reindeer at two inches. And then the second reindeer is actually from the Very Merry Tags cartridge. So let's go to that cartridge. And it is key number... 11 and it looks like this so as you can see it's a tag so what I did was 
I went and added it to my mat and then I went to the hide and contour feature and clicked on that and then I just removed the tag portion like so and that one was also cut at two inches so we're gonna go ahead and remove the because I have this popped up on dimensionals as well I'm just gonna remove the tape backing and I'm gonna add each reindeer and then we'll go ahead and add the second one like so and there you have it so now let's go ahead and add the last embellishment that I have for the card I've cut out this tag and this is also from the very merry tags cartridge and I'm sorry I didn't show the handbook the handbook looks like this this was one of the solutions cartridges that was from 2009-2010 and there is no handbook with this. It's just the overlay. So I went ahead and I cut that out. And it is key number 21. And it looks like this. And once I had it on my mat, I went to the hide and contour. And I hid the little um, hole in the center. And there's a reason why I did that. And that was because what I want to go ahead and do is I have this little stamp that says Handmade with Love. And I want to go ahead and add that to the tag. I was going to initially use my Cricut pens to go ahead and write out something, but I decided to just use my rubber stamp instead. So I'm going to move the card to the side for right now so we can pull out the stamp on the jig and we can go ahead and stamp this on there. So now I also forgot to tell you what I cut that at. I cut this at the height was two inches and it just so happened to come out uh, just a little bit bigger than the actual stamp tag, but that's okay. So now I'm going to line this up. And then I'm going to grab my stamp on my jig handle. And I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to make sure that didn't move, which I think it did. So let me line that up again. And I'm going to use the Festive Berries ink by Tim Holtz. So now I'm going to pull up and make sure I get my stamped inked. And I'm going to line this up and press down. And there is my tag. So now let's go ahead and... We're going to add a brad to this. Okay, everybody. Rather than adding a brad to the tag, I decided to go ahead and add this little Christmas tree eyelet to the tag instead. So let's go ahead and bring up our card. And we're going to add this tag to the card. And I'm just going to lightly lift this up from where I have the dimensional stuck down there because I want to slide this in and I've put a little bit of tape on the back of there and I'm just going to slide this up in the corner and press that down like so. So that's it everybody. This is the last card of the series Christmas Cards with the Cricut. I hope you've enjoyed the series and thanks so much for watching. Now don't forget to come back because I've got a surprise in my next video. Bye!